Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4 Waking the Tiger playing as Rexist Belgium. The owner of France, the United Kingdom, loads of Africa, parts of Indonesia, Belgian Raj works for us, and so on. Right now we are fabricating claims against the Netherlands of which Canada is promising to protect. And if they do, well then we're just gonna have to go kill Canada, aren't we? Which was always the original plan, so I'm not gonna pretend that I'm sad about this, because I'm not. By the way, we actually have a pretty reasonable amount of air experience. You know what we should go ahead and do real quick? Let's go ahead and change up our fighters. We're producing a pretty reasonable amount. Let's get the engine as good as we can get it, which is level 5, so that's a fantastic amount of agility and maximum speed. And agility means that we can hit other planes and get um, avoid getting hit a lot better. So, basically, all of our planes just become fantastic in combat. Let's go ahead and change that up and start producing the Mark 1s. Yes, we lose a bit of efficiency, but oh well. I don't think that's going to be a huge deal after all. We do need a little bit more oil, which I guess we can trade with the... Uh, Belgian Raj, and just take all of it. That'll work. Yeah, sure, and Belgian Malaya has some too. Tell you what, let's trade a little less with the Soviet Union and trade with these guys instead. That should be fine. Might as well, I'm not too worried about them losing their puppet status. Alright, so, as we are fabricating here against the Netherlands, we are trying to train up some troops for all the good that that's currently doing me. I am going to get some more paratroopers. Um, ideally, we'll be able to hold off the Canadians long enough. Can you guys go over here? Yeah. Hold off the Canadians long enough for us to kill the Netherlands, then redeploy the army, and then go take over Canada. Which, they are very weak. That's not a lot of troops, and that's really not a lot of manpower. Also... I have the old British Navy working for me, which makes things a lot easier. Also, apparently 1.8 thousand planes. Well, that's just amazing now, ain't it? I love that. All right, cool. If I wanted to really ramp up in power, though, probably the most tactical move right now would actually be to return all of the British Empire's land and give them back the uh, British Isles. That would be the power move, because then I could use their manpower pool to start training a lot of troops... They'd have their factories and manpower. They'd have their own army. It'd be the right thing to do, honestly. And we don't need it in order to form the European Union. However, I like the idea of Rexus Belgium owning the UK, so I'm not going to do it. I am deliberately making the stupid choice for the sake of the lulls. Isn't that why we play most of Hearts of Iron 4? Come on, let's be honest. You know it's true. You know it's true. All right, this guy here, do we want to promote him? I mean, we lose a lot of stats, but I feel like we kind of need a field marshal. We don't have anyone else who's a qualified candidate. So, all right, let's go ahead and promote him into a field marshal. We need to get a couple more commanders, which we'll do. Um, you will actually become the field marshal. So let's do that. Yes. Then we will assign a couple of new generals, like so. Not that I expect them to get much in the way of experience, but whatever. And then for you, we could actually get some new traits, which would pass on to all my other armies. Offensive Doctrine. Max Entrenchment is really good. Organization first, reinforcement rate, uh, recovery rate, all that's all right. But I kind of like the idea of getting max entrenchment plus 30%. We're going to go ahead and spend some more command power and do that. Plus, we are going to get an upgrade to the recovery rate. Recovery rate. That'll have to do for now. And all of you guys are just going to go ahead and get filed under his control. There we go. All right, so now we have a field marshal producing some benefits for everybody, even though we had to weaken a lot of our generals to do so, but whatever. Whatever, he'll be fine. Hopefully he'll just get better as time goes on, right? Hopefully. Mobile defense is done. Good, we can now move toward integrated support for the extra uh, soft attack and organization for support companies, which is good. Alternatively, better recovery rate for our artillery, which doesn't sound amazing, but eventually leads to a plus 10% soft attack for line artillery. Since we are using line artillery right now, that actually could be pretty good. Uh, alternatively, make the support companies even better. I mean, I really like the organization bonus is the other thing. Oh, I don't know. I think we're going to go for integrated support. Organization is just so good. Yeah, I like the soft attack. And for good reason. The soft attack is amazing. But yeah, we're going to need that. We're going to need that. All right, so we're finishing up with our anti-tank. Which is just fine and dandy, because I know I'm going to need that avenge the Germans eventually. Let's get some encryption and decryption tech going, because we will be going to war relatively soon. About a month, and then we can go kill the Netherlands and take over all of this. By the way, one thing I was wondering, if I formed the um, uh, Leo Belgicus, which apparently is the uh, 
Apparently is the fascist name of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands, you know, when you repudiate the Treaty of London. Uh, will we be able to form the EU once we become democratic again? I don't think so. I have no idea. The wiki does not say. However, we would get cores on all Dutch and uh, Belgium and Luxembourg states, which would give me some more manpower. Which is nice. Oh, good. We have some troops depend uh, over here. Good. So let's go ahead and send him to join up that direction. It's going to take a little while to transfer all these guys to Canada, but I guess we can go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do exactly that. All right. All right. Um, we are still working on upgrading our naval base. Uh, you know what? We will upgrade the naval base up here as well. Because I would like to get as much supply going in those regions as we can. The air base apparently is done. Which is great. So let's go ahead and upgrade it again. Then get some anti-air imposition. And hopefully with this... We'll be looking pretty good. I'd like to get some infrastructure going as well. These are all things that we're going to need. Um, actually, I would say the anti-air is probably the lowest priority. I don't expect Canada to have a lot of planes by November of 1938, you know? Don't expect it. It could happen, but it probably won't. Let's make sure we deploy all new troops over here as well. All new troops over here as well. We're just going to make sure we get a lot of troops ready to go and fight in Canada. And then once we are looking like we're going to win that war, I will switch over to kill the United States. Which will be fun. We are only 12 days away from declaring war on Amsterdam. Or the Netherlands, or whatever. Don't need much in the way of oil. I actually have a lot of supplies. Believe it or not, switching over to free trade is starting to look very tempting to me. Because we're holding on to a lot of resources we don't actually need. We are actually exporting a pretty solid amount though right now. Even with an export focus. It's not bad. Free trade's only marginally better. On the plus side, though, I mean... I don't know. We've had issues with free trade in the past. Maybe I shouldn't worry about that right now. Maybe. Let's go to the motorized division. We are going to give you guys an engineer company because everybody should have engineer companies. We have the support equipment to support you anyway. Justification for conquering Holland is complete. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and declare our war here against the Netherlands. Not going to call in Germany. This is my land, not yours. And let's go. The Netherlands calls in Canada. That was to be expected. The Netherlands joins the Allies. Wait, does that mean we're now going to fight all the other Allies? Ah, we now might be about to fight, like... We might be about to fight, um... Um, 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 um... Australia and all the other folks. Before I wanted to. That could happen. Uh, let's go ahead and send you guys over there. Seriously, go and assist. Blue, do you have a front line? Set up a front line, please. You guys set up a front line as well. Everybody goes to these. Go defend. We're actually in danger of losing some stuff I really need right now. I need you to retreat back here. Uh, if I don't hold this naval base, we're going to be in really big trouble. Hang on. Maybe we can get the uh, planes over here now. Do that. Go there. Planes. 400 airplanes right now. Fighters, go here. Get me the air superiority going in um, eastern Canada. We may need to quickly redeploy these troops. And go somewhere else. Maybe we can use our... Um, paratroopers to go and grab Ottawa and stuff like that, force them to redeploy. A little early. New Zealand has joined. Australia has joined. Dutch East Indies has joined. Okay. Malaysia? No, you'll get killed. Free India. Excuse me? You are not free. I will have you know. You are Belgian Raj. You're mine. Um... We will allow you to join, I think. You probably can defend yourself, right? British Empire. Yes, please. And Croatia. No. I don't want to share with countries that are not my puppets. I'm not really much of one for sharing. Alright, so we're pushing in toward Amsterdam. I think that's enough to make them capitulate once we do so. Maybe not. We have to get to Friesland. We're going in there next. And that is the Netherlands. Done. Alright. Good. So now, all of you guys need to deploy 
right here. That's the new goal. Get all the troops over there. We're having a hard time defending up here right now. Uh, the transport planes have not arrived. Where'd they go? You guys not gonna come over here? Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't have nearly enough. Hang on. Reduce this by a couple hundred, please. Never mind, they're here now. Reduce this by a bit more? They take a way more limit than I thought they would. Huh. Okay, that'll work. All right, we have you. So now, if I were to take, let's say, these two paratroopers and do an invasion from here to here, could you do that? Not without air superiority, we couldn't. Um, the air base is not nearly large enough, is what I'm learning out of this. Okay, so let's try bumping that up. We're getting some anti-air. Infrastructure, supply. Not doing great, though. Excuse me. Is there a separate war going on right now? The British-Australian War. You were not supposed to join Croatia. Did the Belgian Raj call them in? I didn't accept that. Huh. Alright, so there's more of our paratroopers. Um, all of you should be deploying to this line for now. And where's the volunteers you told me about? Volunteers? Oh, he still controls them. Well, never mind. I don't think I'm too worried about any of that. Okay, um, I'm gonna let, um, I'm gonna let the British Navy protect my troops as they are on the way in. Uh, we should be getting some reinforcements coming in here. You guys just sit tight, stop attacking. What are you doing? Field Hospital is done. Good. Logistics Company is on the way. It is about to be 1939. I say we go for the extra engineering companies. And then I say that we get some Field Hospitals and Anti-Tank. We can't afford the Anti-Tank right now. Field Hospitals it is. Send those guys up to my troops. Uh, we do not need the paratroopers right now. Okay, um, so we're sort of defending the air base and the naval base, which I guess is all that matters, really. I really would like to get a lot more... Oh, there's the air superiority I was looking for. Hang on. Can you go now? Launch. Wait. Launch. Okay, we got that. Good. That is what I was looking for. You guys are now going to get up a front line over here. Uh, as soon as we grab St. Lawrence, which I don't think will be too hard. We should have some supplies. This is going to force Canada to absolutely overreact. Good? Okay. So all of you are going here now. You should be able to find a path. Now we just need to hold this until the army arrives. Okay. So that worked, at least temporarily. Um, you don't have another air base over here, so too much to hope for with that. That's fine, though. Uh, he's pushing up a little bit. Please tell me you can defend this. Motorized, get down here and help defend. It's just cavalry. It's cavalry v. cavalry. The horses are eating each other. Um, it's a little bit morbid, isn't it? Let's go ahead and trade a bit more with British Malaya. Get the rest of our oil. Okay, so we're holding on to this just fine. I mean... We can try moving down to Montreal and Ottawa. I don't think we're going to get it, though. So my navy, sh sorry, my army should be on the way. Here they come. Radio can now be built. Finally, let's go ahead and grab the decryption tech. Um, yeah, the reason I want to grab Montreal and Ottawa is for the extra. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's on the way. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Back up, back up, back up. Defend the port. Defend the port. Nothing else matters. Okay, here comes the army. They have arrived, or partly at least. Good. Okay, so now we should be able to start spreading out. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Wanted to make sure we didn't lose that. That would have been an absolute unmitigated disaster. Unassigned divisions. You guys can go join with these guys. More power. What should we spend it on? Navy doesn't matter. Industrial concern, material designer, tank designer. We could start doing that. 
Uh, alternatively... It is 1939, so let's go ahead and do the industrial research time, because we should be able to start doing that pretty much now. Uh, we only have a little bit more to s repair, so I'm no longer worried about this. Let's go ahead and pop off of that. We are going to go for... Doctrine effort. Start making progress on other things now. Okay, so this is looking pretty solid. Uh, we should be able to defend this as long as the attrition doesn't get me killed. He's pushing everything he's got against me, which I find adorable. Um... Okay, so now, you guys, your offensive line is to get to Ottawa and kind of cut these guys off. Go. You guys now have an offensive line to get through here. Sort of. Go. All right. This seems reasonable. Um, we should be able to push all the way toward Ottawa and stuff now. So now let's try pushing toward Montreal. Not that our troops are going to be the speediest in a uh, Canadian winter. Is a little cold. But maybe. Integrated support is done. Good. We can move on to regimental combat teams for the extra organization and soft attack, which I like. You guys are sort of moving out, but you're a little slow. There's Montreal, so that's more supply. And we are about to grab Ottawa, which is the Canadian capital gone. Let's grab this real quick, just so that I have the air superiority. Logistics companies are now done, though I may not need them by the end of this. Let's go for the upgraded recon companies and field hospitals. Okay, so we're holding on to this pretty well. You guys need a new offensive line down this direction. Let's just try to push him out of here. Uh, so this is all looking fairly solid. I think we've got it. I think we freaking got it. All right, more factories. We need motorized. Let's fix that. There we go. Uh, insufficient supplies, that's fine. Uh, we have a little bit more experience we can use on... Mm. Um, what should we spend it on? Upgrade our motorized, I guess? We could. Field hospital. Could upgrade these guys, though. They're pretty weak. Field hospital. Let's apply it to these guys instead. More of our generic infantry. Uh, the real thing we have to be concerned about is to make sure we don't get a naval invasion against us. Just knowing Australia and stuff, they might try that. And I have literally no troops to defend. We're really kind of going all in on this. So here's hoping that that's not going to come back to bite me in a major way. All right, where are you guys going? You're spreading out all over the dang place. All right. Your, uh, your front line is already invalid. Can I get rid of it or not? There we go. Okay, offensive line is all of this. Go. If I had more motorized, what we really want to do now is make a beeline to Vancouver. And by beeline, I mean an absolute beeline. For now, let's go ahead and push down towards southern Ontario, try to grab those victory points plus supplies. Uh, Canada is already 54% of the way towards capitulation. So that's not too hard to deal with if we can get a few more victory points, which is basically just St. Lawrence and nothing else. Unfortunately, it means literally marching all the way across the continent. Can we try it anyway? Where's my where's my motorized? You. Where are you? You're assigned to this. And I want you to come down over here. We're going to try to make a beeline even though I know I'm not going to have much in the way of supply. Um maybe maybe my motorized will have enough supply that he actually can make it all the way. I don't feel like it's likely. But you never know, right? Let's try to grab all this. You guys should be able to push pretty much as much as you want to. At this point, I think Canada is just unable to do anything. We could... Wait a minute. Paratroopers. There's a thought. Paratroopers. Cancel your line. All of you are going to go right uh, here because it's our only option. You guys are fine where you are. So are you. Maybe we can do some sort of an airdrop to get ahead of them. I don't know if that'll work or not. Maybe, though. Let's think about that. If we did an airdrop from here to... We can't go very far. We kind of need to get to a new airbase. I'm looking at southern Ontario and thinking that's my best option. 
But for that to work, we're going to need to join up all of our armies. So we have to give it a little bit of time. All right. So you guys are going to get over this direction. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what you can do. You guys go finish this off so we don't have to worry about it. You guys go grab this so we don't have to worry about it. Motorize, go kill them. Unassigned divisions. You all will get assigned to you. Um, and we have to actually assign you to the front line as well. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's assign you to this. There we go. Okay. So they're on the way. Um, can you guys push back against this? Can you guys push him out? No, there's a... No, there's no river crossing or anything. All right. Most of you guys go down here. You guys go clean up. Clean up. See what you can do. You do not need nearly this many troops over here, though. All of you can actually be assigned to this. One of you go this direction. There you go. All right. So we should be able to finish that off. There are some victory points in Halifax. Not that it really matters, but whatever. We'll take it anyway. Uh, you guys are looking pretty solid over here. Good job. Um, don't think my paratroopers are going to be able to find their way over. They're going to try their best, though. Okay, Doctrine effort is done. We can go for... Secret weapons would get me four 50% research bonuses for any electronics, nuclear technology, and rocketry. I'm going to start working on that. My stability is quite low. My war support's not great. Anything I can do to boost that right now? Not really. Um, no, nothing I can do really. Alright, well, we're not going to worry about any of the other things then. Let's just keep moving. Okay, these troops are all going to get joined up. Excellent, so now these lines are complete. Okay, so you guys should all be going over here. And then delete these orders. I don't want this guy assigned to a front line. All of you go here. So what can we get if I take the transport planes over here? Uh, like so. And then... If I wanted to take a couple of these guys and do an airdrop, where could I go? No, 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 no. I don't want to see the planes. Nope, stop it. I want airdrop. We can make a slight early advance. It's not much, though. But I guess... No, what does that get me? Nothing, really. There's no victory points, no supply... There's nothing we can do with that. It's totally pointless. All right. You guys need to be aggressive. Just start pushing. Just don't let him get any footing, and you'll be fine. Uh, we need to have you go grab this, 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 and this. Just grab all that real quick. I don't know why we missed it. Purple should all be going to this front line. Your offensive line sucks. Let's get a new one. All of this. That, that, there. Yes. Go. Okay. Should work. It's not a weird looking front line at all. Uh, can you pick up through here real quick? Okay. Got a slight surround on a single one of his troops. That finishes all of them off. We are now taking some attrition in a few places. Part of that is going to be the lack of infrastructure, I imagine. We actually don't really need to worry about any more um, naval bases. Well, maybe we do. Maybe we want to have as much supply coming in here as possible for when we have to fight the, uh, the Americans. Potentially. Potentially. I'm not sure yet. We'll come back to that. Uh, unassigned divisions. You, go here. Okay. Um, hi, Germany. Keeping a lot of your troops in my territory, huh? That seems uncalled for. These guys are going to join up here as well. Unless we wanted to defend against a naval invasion, but... What are the odds Australia is actually going to commit themselves to doing anything useful, right? Don't oh, make me laugh. Ha ha ha. We could go for the army logistics now. That does make things a lot easier. 
Let's reduce our attrition. All right, so that's all getting done. Um, we still don't have any logistics companies that we're going to use, but it is 1939. Actually, industry comes first. Let's go for a... Uh, advanced machine tools efficiency cap increase, since we're at the cap for a lot of things. That would be good. We definitely need a lot more motorized. And it looks like we are able to continue training up some more troops. We are still lacking a lot of manpower from the uh, Belgian Raj. So they haven't really been offering me much of anything. Hi, Republican Spain. You sent uh, volunteers to go and assist the Canadians, did you? How precious. Have we bonded? I don't know why I thought of that. That's just a... That's just a little thing from... Um, what's it called? Oh, come on. Not Battle Block Feuder, not Castle Crashers, the one that came afterwards. Crap, I'm drawing a complete and utter blank on it. Whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though. I know you know what I'm talking about. It's a thing. You guys, front line. Go here and do nothing but go to Vancouver. Also, be aggressive. Go! All right, maybe we can find ourselves like an extra airport somewhere further down the line that'll let my paratroopers go somewhere useful. I'm not really expecting it, but it would be nice. It would be really nice. Decryption is done. Good. We are doing very well on our research right now. Let's go for the construction tech. We do have a fair bit to uh, repair. The Dutch are signing everything. I do not understand why the Soviets declare war on Finland in almost every game and then immediately sign a white piece. What was the point of declaring the war exactly? Explain that to me. You can't do it, can you? I didn't think so. All right, let's see. Motorized. We need to get you some recon, some field hospitals, and support artillery. All right, paratroopers. We're going to get you some recon and engineers. And... Logistics would mean that we use even less supply with paratroopers, but I don't think we have to worry about that. I do want the field hospitals, though. Somehow you can drop cars out of the side of an aircraft as well. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be effective. Hey, look. Supply. All right, go, 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 go. Um, where's the... Come here. You're fast, right? What, what? Can you make the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs? Can you get to Vancouver in just a couple of months? That's the question. Secret weapons is done. Good. Uh, nuclear effort will be fun, but I don't want to use that yet. Instead, we are going to go for the extra time reduction in artillery. And you know what? It is time to officially start getting a, the United States with a war goal. New England. Wow. It's going to take me 10 days? What? What? We can just get a war goal against the U.S. in no time at all? How'd that happen? I have no idea how that's possible, but I'm not going to complain about it because I really want to kill the United States. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Poland refuses the German ultimatum, and Italy is becoming more of a member of the Axis. There they are. They are indeed in the Axis. Okay? And the German Reich declares war on Poland, which we all knew was going to happen eventually. So I'm not going to pretend that I'm upset about it, because I'm not. Recon Company has been upgraded. Excellent. Um, signal Companies I don't care about. It is 1939. Let's go for the Dispersed Industry. I want to get the upgraded um, infantry weapons, but we'll wait on that for now. Uh, South Africa has joined New Zealand as an ally in the British-New Zealander War. Again, I don't understand how that's working. What's this Croatian-South African War? What is this? Croatia is fighting a bunch of people for some reason. Is this considered mine? This might be con my war. This is... Wait. Yes. No, not in the war, but can be called into... Where's mine? There we are. Yeah, this, this is mine. Okay. Um... Um... There's a way to see which ones... Yeah, faction, Canada mem is the only uh, faction that has to surrender still. So yes, if we can get our motorized to get in there quickly and just finish it off, that'd be amazing. Field hospital is done. Good. Let's go and work on the upgraded infantry equipment. We have a wounded general. I don't know how he got himself shot, but he did. 
Um, motorized. Where are you? Poland joins the Allies. Crap, are they about to join in this war? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't join my war, because then uh, Germany might get pulled in on this war. Also, the German Reich is justifying against me. Well, that's because they have, like, a national focus to try and take the Low Countries. He technically only wants to take over Luxembourg, I think. Speaking of Luxembourg, if we wanted to fabricate a claim on you real quick, what would it take? 25 days. Oh, this is nothing. Wait, do I have more troops that are about to deploy? Totally do. Before we end this war, let's go ahead and get our claims against Luxembourg and the United States going. Because I want something super fast. I don't know if that's going to go away later. Call to arms. No. Lend lease. Sure. Insufficient resources of oil. Not for long. Motorizer on the way. Canada calls in South Africa. We need to go fast before you guys lose anything. Canada calls in Australia. Uh-huh. We're taking some attrition, but we're still moving quick. New Zealand. Come on. Come on. You're so close. You're so close to getting to Vancouver. All right. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Luxembourg. Justify war goal. Let's see if we can get it before Germany declares their own war. The United States. Justify New England. Let's see if we can get a claim on both of them. Okay. Um, German pressures towards the Benelux. They are going to try to take over the Low Countries on their own, but we're about to get into Vancouver. That'll be the end of Canada. Oh, he had a single troop sitting here. Crap. Go around. Get a surround in on him. Don't push too aggressively. Get your organization back up. He's got three troops. The Americans are here. Oh, come on. Did you have to do that? Mm, I thought for sure we were going to have this right now. Nope. 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 Those are in, um, those are in freaking mountains. Those are in freaking mountains. Okay. Well, we may not be able to use our claims immediately. And truth be told, I probably don't want to do so immediately. Cancel the Wargle. We're not going to be able to kill them too quick. Um, I'm going to need a chance to deploy my troops. Poland has capitulated. That's already over. Poland apparently got called in, even though they've already been capitulated, because that makes sense. Luxembourg got called in. German Reich declared war on Luxembourg before I could get to them. Darn. All right, nothing I can do. Uh, Luxembourg is going to die. All right, it's not a big deal. Sad, but not a big deal. I tried. I did try. Oh, we're over our time, aren't we? Okay, hang on. I need troops in position so we can go kill Canada. I don't think it's too much to ask, but I need more than this. You, you, you. All of you assign here. I need just some troops to deploy, and then we'll kill Canada. Either puppet or conquer them. I'm not sure yet which I want, because they have, like, no manpower. So they're not very useful. We might just conquer them outright. But we do still need to justify our goal against the United States, which will only take 10 days right now. So that's not going to be too bad. You do have a lot more troops now. A lot more. Uh, but you do still have a civilian economy, but yeah. Okay, so they're, they're definitely ramping up. They actually have a really reasonable navy. The United States is becoming scarier and scarier as time goes on. Right, we'll have to deal with them later. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.